going to need to get up into a major line of resistance if we're going to trade it as a um, speed tick trade. Um, or we just need a rock star. It could either be a regular rock star or a naked rock star because we have that pullback alert and it's overbought. So the RTY, if we can get a rock star, I'm going to short it. Unless it pulls way back in the next five seconds. Okay, shorted the RTY. Five. Okay, so we have price comes up, starts to channel. We break out of the channel and start pushing with momentum. Notice the bar is going from black to a light gray. Okay, so we're we're pushing a stronger momentum. We have a lot of indicators suggesting that we're getting the type of price action we're looking for, but we don't have a manipulation until this bar. And then on the open, that's the speed tick. And then on the open of this bar, rock star, and it drops. Now we have a sweet spot, right? We're only expecting this. Anything other than this would just be speculative for us. So we have a good, strong understanding that this is what's going to happen. And then we expect this trend to continue, which is why I don't put on runners or trailing stops. I hard target plus five. I get my ticks. I put them in the account and I wait for the next setup. And I'm not managing this trade. Now, I'm saying that's how I do it. And that's why I do it. If you choose to put on runners or trailing stops, fine. That's up to you. You'll have to work at it. And I've done that work. And for me, it was really not worth the effort. The, there was no real appreciable difference over a six-month period. So I went back to just hard targeting, in, out, done, no messing around. And now I'm ready for the next setup.